Alright guys, so next part of our journey, part of making a Humvee um, road worthy or street legal, we need reverse lights. So since I already installed my reverse lights um, on the Humvee already, and right now it's manually on and off by switch, uh, I wanted to install also uh, the switch that actually um, connects directly to the uh, gear shift. So, fun fact about the Humvees, Humvees don't come with reverse lights because the military doesn't need reverse lights when they are at war or when they're using the Humvee in the field. Makes sense, but really nice fact is that the ambulance version of the Humvee do come with a switch reverse light switch and do come with reverse lights because they interact with uh, hospitals and they drive on the roads and interact with the civilians environment so basically they do come with a switch which enables the option to put a switch directly on the shifter so I got this uh, switch from uh, Black Dog Customs, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I really love the quality, it looks awesome. And uh, I got also the harness, at which I'm not sure I'm gonna use because I already have my lights installed. We're gonna go ahead and start to install this switch directly on the shifter, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see how it looks and how it works. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first, we're going to take the gear shift off. Before we do that, there is four bolts here needs to be uh, taken out. But before we're going to do that, I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to um, just make sure that everything is disconnected underneath for the shifter. Gear shift is right here. So looks pretty simple there is two uh, pods here that need to be um, disconnected uh, one of them is right here and the other one is right next to it so I'm gonna start with that and then um, go up there and loosen the four screws and just take the shifter uh, out it's right there this is one and this is two After I disconnect those rods from the shifter, I am going to take a picture of the shifter so I know in what position I took it out and what position to put it back. Number two is out. It looks like this one broke. So I'm gonna just replace it with a new one. Probably just old. And then this another washer. It is disconnected. As you can see, one and two. So next we are going to take the shifters out. So I am going to start with taking a picture of their position and then put it back together the same way. All right guys, next we are going to take these four bolts out.
Everything went down. Alright, guys, so you got those. Those, um. Lock nuts here that on the other side, so. You gotta get that off first. Like, I mean, get it off from the, uh. Bottom as well, so. Might need to have somebody from. Underneath, I'm doing this. Okay. Disconnected. This still got disconnected. This one got disconnected, and that one. There we go. One, two, three, and it's out. All right. So here you go, guys. This is out. Many years of moon dust, <sighs> or just regular California desert dust. But three plugs, and looks like they're marked, which is great. And that's it. Now let's go and connect our reverse switch. bunch of stuff but good good opportunity to clean and get it all nice
All right, guys, so we're gonna start with the installation here of the wiring switch, reverse wiring switch. So one thing I noticed is that I was missing washer. So I just got a washer that I had and I'm just gonna work with that washer here. I'm not sure why it was missing, but I was missing a washer. The first thing you wanna do is to switch to first gear. So once you switch it to first gear, it's just um, easier to work on it. Hopefully that will be a good, good view. All right, so the second step, we're going to install this paw, they call it. So this is where mine didn't come with the washer but I just found one and put it. So I'm gonna have to put the, this washer in. And while you do that, you gotta put that little paw and slide it until it goes in, just like that. So next, after you put the paw in, you just make sure it's in all the way. And then you take some blue Loctite and put a little bit in so it would be locked in place so the washer would hold this little paw in place there you go so you want to make sure it's tight enough It's a half an inch. Just not too tight, but just snugged enough in there. So next, what you want to do is put that in the switch here. And I found that there is two ways to do it because you're gonna want it to be um, flashed. You don't want it to be flat. So if you put it one way, then this part where the screws are is um, not gonna be flat. So what I did, I turn it around and that way it is more, so what, more flash. So we're gonna want to put some Loctite on it and then lock it in place. The next thing you want to do is basically we're going to put that switch in here. First thing you want to do is basically just put the wires, lead the wires in with the rest of the wires. And now we're going to have to put this screw basically this way in the threads. So we're going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. tighten it yet. You can put the second one in. And then tighten both of them. What you want to make sure is this part here that it's completely flat and and that there is no gap in here. So make sure it's tight enough and there is no gap right here. And then that's it, it's all installed basically. And now if I'm switching it, once it gets to uh, reverse, it's going to touch it, which switch on, will switch on your lights. And you can see once that this is in park, it's touching the other switch right here. Pretty cool. 
Next, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put another uh, zip tie here uh, to make sure that everything is um, secured over there. And from there, um, I'm going to put the boot back on. Guys, what I want to do next is make sure everything here is uh, oiled and um, greased. Uh, again, it's not going to be perfect, but it's always good since I'm already here to put some WD-40 or some grease. So I'm going to start just gently put some. pretty much wherever you see that there is some um, some friction of parts I just put it there again not a big deal but it was good to to have that I always like to put a little bit WD-40 and everything here just prevent that last Again, I am uh, not a expert in WD-40 uh, or grease matters, but yeah. Yeah, already feels like it's moving a little bit more smoothly. So basically next what you want to do, after you confirm that everything works well here, you would want to go ahead and put it back in the boot. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to try and slide these guys in the boot. You probably wanna do it one by one, just because it's, um, tight in there. Now, turn it to the other side and just try to slide it in. Completely put the boot where it's supposed to be. it probably in the future I'm gonna take it apart again and recondition it I want to put new plates and uh, this this part where the light is is just looks terrible and broken here so I need to order a new one so I'm gonna be seeing this gear shift again in the future but right now we are good to go just make sure everything is snugged in here and that it sits where it's supposed to be all right guys so the last thing i'm gonna do here after i got all of those through the boot and that's exactly how it was on mine so obviously this is used not a new boot but I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in both of these guys so just over time it's better 
to do it. I got the um, harness that came with the switch, um, but I am not gonna use that the way um, the way it's supposed to be used. Uh, I'm actually gonna connect that probably to the batteries. That way I can turn on my um, reverse lights as a utility light because I have two of them. So I can turn on both of them as, as just a utility light or work light or whatever I need to, to use the light for. And then also I'm gonna bypass that and connect the switch so every time that I put it in reverse the lights will turn on as well. So it doesn't matter, you got two colors, positive and negative, but it doesn't matter in this case, both of them going into um, the new ones that we just installed. So it doesn't really matter which ones, but it's two males and they're gonna go into what we just um, installed. I would like to just make sure everything is kind of like looking neat here. So I'm just gonna put some zip ties. All right, so it's time to clean up a little bit and I just, I always like to keep some of my dust here. You never know where it actually came from. Could be, could be a, um, Iraq or could be um, Kuwait or I'm not sure exactly where it was. Could be just somewhere in the desert. I know my vehicle was just in um, California. Um, Yermo, uh, near Yermo actually, it was the uh, the Marine Corps um, logistics place, uh, logistics base, that, that where my vehicle was based, so I am going to just keep it, I don't know, pretty cool. like used to be grease here but it's completely dry so I'm gonna put some more all right now we're gonna try to connect that see if those lines are a little bit short but I'm just gonna try to go for it connected these two and one more to go so one of them I wasn't able to connect and I'm gonna have to connect it from the uh, bottom right now we are ready and bring everything back where it's supposed to go Go back to the picture you took and make sure you position that 
the way it was. So it looks like everything is good, just that one thing needs to be connected. So I can do it from here. Right. All right, guys, I'm just trying to put everything back together, the gear shift, the shifter and everything. And I was loosening up those bolts that holding down that shifter. Um, those washers fell on the ground and I couldn't see it because I was loosening it up from above, but I lost those washers and um, I found them. I need to put it back. So when I got those cutter pins out, one of them broke. So uh, I'm gonna replace it. And it looks like this one will work well. So just got a, got a new one. Anyway, so they are going in. Now you gotta put that washer there and then put that cutter pin back in. Kind of like it's annoying because you gotta have like two hands um, inside there, and it's really hard to get both of your hands in. Um, but it's just. Uh Not really comfortable to do it. Try to show you what I did over there. Basically, that's what I did. Put them back together. I think this is the gear shifter, and that's the uh, four-wheel drive I'm getting. But just put them back there. Pain in the ass because you can't get there. Everything here, got the exhaust shield and stuff. So anyway, but it's it's in. All right, time to put back this together. Thought I would have to. Um... Hmm, look at that. An old battery. Cool.
Hey guys, all right. First of all, we're gonna start with just disconnecting the battery. And make sure there is no power going in because we don't want any issues. And anyway, every time you do any kind of work with the electrical system, you should just um, disconnect the battery. <laughs> 